You know you're starting to get old when people start talking about a new, better search engine and you're like, was Google not enough? I can find whatever I want there. But since it's the new hip thing, ChatGPT will make my Grand Cross team. It's like a super smart AI thing. I've used it once yesterday to try and see how it works to record today. And I just want a simple task from it. Can it like make me a good PVP team? Does it know the meta right now? That, that would be very weird if it does. First, let's ask some normal thing like, um, what is seven deadly sins grand cross? And they know. Well, I mean, that's, that's Google, right? I guess they just took it from like, this is like a Wikipedia thing. Okay, very, very thumbs up. I'm, I won't do all that. All right, let me do something more complex now. Let's see what it replies to this. Can you make me a Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross team? Sure. I can suggest a team based on my knowledge of the game and characters. Askenor the One. Blue Team in the Uh. <laughs> I, okay, Escanor the One is 100% the blue one, but I'm gonna stretch and say it's the ultimate one. I wanna try to win. Blue DM Elias, there's no, there's no way I, I can escape from this. This is very clear cut. <laughs> this is a hilarious answer. That is very old, very, very old. Blue the One definitely was the peak of popularity for Grand Cross, so I understand why the knowledge might be actually capped to that timeline where, you know, the One was still, again, the top dog, but it's kind of hilarious to think that, that that's old, man. That, that was uh, 2020, right? That the One came out. 94k. I'll let you do an attack first with Melly. 94k. Um, I'll, I'll try to ask it differently next time and see if I get a different result. The, how the AI is supposed to work, for what I know, is the more you give it answers, the better it will start giving other people results. So let's say, for example, if some of you were to start using ChatGPT and inform of I don't know, the current Grand Cross meta, eventually, it should... I think I will not kill him with the level 2. I forgot about the Tarmiel link. I forgot about the Tarmiel link. Still killed, okay. Eventually, it should actually give good results and stuff, but ah, uh, is it really worth it at this point? I don't know. We're, we're bearing the end of Grand Cross's life cycle anyways. Does it need to know the current meta? It's about to shift, right? Like we are, how long from anniversary? A month? Ouchie. A month and a half? I forgot what day it is. I, memory hard, uh, thinking hard. We're close to anniversary, right? So it's very, um, I think normal for me to assume that the anniversary character will be a complete game changer, unlike Liz was <laughs> for PvP, right? Liz was a funny one, but you know, sold well, so what can I say? Uh, maybe we'll get like a character that will be completely revamping the current meta, so that will be old news before we know it. Still, it would be better than, you know, Blue DM, bro. Yeah, this was uh, not the greatest choice by ChatGPT for me to put Blue DM Elios on my team. I mean, it would have been even worse if I didn't stretch and say that freaking, <laughs> freaking the one ultimate counted. It would have been even worse if I went with Blue the one, right? which is what it thinks the current meta is, because that's, I think, the last time Grey Cross was, like, really, really popular. Let me try in a different way, though. 
What if instead I ask, what is the current fuck, meta in... I'll just put Grand Cross. I'm not even going to put some sense. September 2021. Lost Vein Red... Red Lilia. Red Goddess Elizabeth. Red Goddess Elizabeth is a support unit that can heal her allies and revive them from death. She can also remove negative effect from her allies and increase their resistance. What unit are they talking about? I genuinely don't... I don't think, like, there's a... Revive them from death, I'm assuming it's Blue Goddess Liz. But remove negative effects and increase their resistance? Goddess Liz can't do that. They're, like, mixing up two different Elizabeths. Green Askenor can increase his own attack and critical hit chance, heal himself, and he, okay, th this is okay. Critical hit chance is not correct though. I was, okay, I didn't read the descriptions for the characters. Maybe I should have. Blue Demon there is a great tank, never, never was, and he can deal decent damage with his skills. He can also disable enemies with his ultimate move. Disable enemies ultimate move? No, he can't. And increase his own stats with his passive abilities. No, he cannot. He can't, he can't do that. His passive gives himself uh, the ability to not be attack sealed. Uh, Green Merlin's an excellent support that can buff her allies in deep. She cannot do that. <laughs> Bro, I was just accepting the units. I didn't read what the, what the AI thought the units did. Gaffers can disable enemies with his skill. Uh, kind of. Okay, I'll, I'll give it that. It can't attack seal. You also manipulate the ult, uh, ult gauge and increases allies a Critical hit chance? No, that's green gaffer. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's interesting. I am doing a different thing here. I'm asking him, or they, I guess. Did you know the current meta in Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross is Purgatory Milieus? I wonder what their answer is going to be. Uh, I can... I do not have access to update information beyond my no Oh! Their, their cutoff date of knowledge is September 2021. Okay. It's still <laughs> a little late for, I think, Blue Demon Meliodas, to be honest. However, I can confirm that Purgatory Meliodas is a power frame that was released after my cutoff date. Oh! Okay. Uh, okay. Now that's more interesting. So I was looking up why the cutoff date is so like long ago, 2021. You kind of have to pay for you to get a plugin that allows the, the goddamn thing to be more up to date. I'll tell you this much. I ain't paying for smarter Google or whatever. If anything can call it smart, I mean, I could have known this by Googling it. I, I don't know, man. I like the idea of this, to be honest, um, because I feel like this is still better than a lot of Grand Cross websites. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know, man. I don't know when this will ever be actually something I could use on my day-to-day -day basis, given that I have to pay to use something that's up to date. Listen. Do you think I care about stuff that happened before 2021? But I'll be damned if I don't at least try the team he gave to me, right? That would be rude. I think my chances are pretty good. Um, let's start with an Askenor Alt Rush. I think that will work quite swell. Boom. Hey, 43k. The corrosion that's going to be cleansed is going to be uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. If I can break the shield. If I can break the shield, I can remove the revive at least. There's no way Melly survives like a double hitter here, right? This doesn't go for Melly. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, Melly! Ah! That was like a billion damage. Oh my god. He took every crit because he has like, on, he purposely has like no crit resistance, 
right? That was like a, that was like his thing. So I can't even blame him for taking all the crits, but Jesus. Yeah, let's heal after that. And we're good. We can remove the buffs. Oh, they didn't kill. <laughs> <laughs> no, 23k! <laughs> no. 23k? I have not used Red Lily in a long time. I don't think she's ever been meta. What was the AI thinking? Red Goddess Liz and Red Lily. Bro, September 2021? Green Asconer was not meta, bro. I... <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Grand Cross in 2021? What was the meta? What released by September 2021? I need to check. Okay, Miles dead. I need to check. So, September 2021 was when Hijack Gaffer came out. It was Purgatory Bond and, and Margaret. Margaret... Margaret came out July of 2021. Do you think Lost Vein <laughs> could ever stay on the on the field where Margaret was, was in? Margaret was the most overpowered character at the time. Like, I wouldn't say they had ever come out because Bond was already out and Bond was was like insane. Right, Bond was absolutely like the most overpowered character we had ever had ever but like margaret was pretty close to like that level of overpowered she was so strong you cannot tell me like the ai thinks that in 2021 green Asconer was relevant that is some that is super outdated for 2021 you know very sad very sad we can, uh... Damn. Let's do this. Break the shield, stun. So that she can ult. I, I will ask her ult on Liz and I hope it kills. I hope it kills next turn. Hmm... Unless she shields, that would be unfortunate. Or unless Nanashi removes my ultimate gauge, that would also be unfortunate. Okay, the AI didn't do well. I mean, they didn't have a take of ultimate gauge. Alright. Askinor. They all have it? They all have Nanashi passive! That's... that's cheating! What? Oh my god. Please one shot. Okay. I don't have Merlin Link on him. Which would give him a higher multiplier. I was hoping it would still kill. Alright. That was it. Uh, I was gonna- listen. Re re don't regard the thing I said about going in and, and giving it better results. Alright. It- you can't, like, for now at least, right? I'm assuming in the future the platform will be open and you, even if you don't pay, you probably will have more up-to-date information, I guess. But, like, unless you want to hear stuff from 20 2021, <laughs> um, yeah, let's take clear. Who cares, man? I can just type on Google Grand Cross tier list and I'll have a slightly better result than what I got here.